Another very important technique we need to master in this lab is how to prepare microscope slides for staining. Now in most of the labs we're going to be taking the bacteria off of a petri plate and if we were to just scrape the bacteria off and put them on the slide these would be just a solid mass of microorganisms on the slide. They wouldn't be separated and we couldn't determine the shape or the arrangements of the bacteria. So if they are coming off a petri plate, we start out by putting a small drop of water on the slide and then we add a small amount of bacteria to that and then we're going to spread them out and let them air dry. And that will separate the bacteria so we can see them better under the microscope. And then in the next video lessons we'll learn how to fix them to the slide so that they don't wash off the slide during the staining procedure. So we're going to start by putting a small drop of distilled water on the slide. Now we don't really want a whole drop of water, we want about half of what would be in a normal sized drop. And the best way to do that generally is just to take the dropper, get a drop just starting to come off and we just touch that to the slide like that. And you can see there in the center there's a small drop of water now on the slide. Now the reason we don't want a lot of water is that this eventually has to air dry. The more water on the slide, the longer it's going to take to air dry. So something like this should air dry in just several minutes. A lot of water could take 15-20 minutes to air dry. So now we have the water on the slide. We're going to remove some bacteria from our petri plate. So we would sterilize the loop as we always do. And then we're going to stick it in the edge of the auger to cool. We're going to scrape off a small amount of the bacteria. And what we do then is we just kind of slide the bacteria into the water, kind of touch it to the slide uh, several times. There's no set number. We want to slide it in until we can see that there's definitely some bacteria in there. Now if you look closely you can see that we can see there's bacteria in the water. And so that's plenty. We don't want to put all of this bacteria on because that defeats the purpose of the water. The smear will be too thick to stain properly. So what we're going to do is burn the remaining bacteria off the inoculating loop. And then at this point we have to wait for the inoculating loop to cool again because if we take the hot loop and put it in the water we're going to spatter the water all over us. So we have to either hold it in the air for 20 or 30 seconds or we could also stick it in the auger to cool which I'm going to do just to speed up the video a little bit. So now that the loop is cool we take our sterile loop and we're going to spread the bacteria that we added to the water over the slide. And notice we're spreading it out over a good portion of the slide. The better we spread it out, the thinner the smear, the faster it's going to air dry, and the better we separate the bacteria. So now we've spread the bacteria out on the slide, and we are going to sterilize the loop again since there's a lot of bacteria on the loop from the spreading technique. So now our bacteria have been spread out on the slide and what we have to do now is the patient part we have to wait for it to completely air dry. 